They're above or below. All right. Sorry. Okay. Is that okay or should I do it this side? Nope. You're good. Okay. Hello and welcome to Karine and Company. Today we're going to do belly button therapy. And what is belly button therapy? You can either place your belly button above your clothing or directly onto your belly button. When we're finished with the video, what I love if you have it on your skin, when you go to pull it out, sometimes that finger doesn't even wanna come out of the belly button. So what I would do is set the intention that you keep it there and you finish breathing in deep to the lower dantian, hold and exhale, really long, slow exhales. And maybe plan on staying a minute or two after the video is complete. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to clear energies on the loss of either a brother or a sister, whether it was to a sudden death, maybe they were murdered, maybe they committed suicide, maybe they left this earth plane way too early. It doesn't matter what the reason is. What we're setting our intention at this time is to heal all the trapped emotions of pain, sadness, loss, suffering, maybe even thoughts of being abandoned. But just remember, these are soul family members. They're very dear souls to each and every one of you. They had a lot of love. They had a lot of compassion. They had a lot of, I would say, a soul connection with you, almost like a yin and a yang or a chain and a link that you could communicate so well and that you had a lot of laughter and a lot of love. And when this person left this earth plane, it could have been within a moment's notice. And then you are here on this earth plane trying to work through all the emotions, all the feelings but when you lose a really close loved one and you don't have that connection with another soul, what we want to do is set the intention to clear out all those trapped emotions, all those excess thoughts. Maybe we have guilt. Maybe we have self-punishing thoughts. Maybe we feel responsible. Maybe we hold a lot of anger, a lot of resentment. Let's set our intention that as we clear this, through our breath and through our release that anything trapped in our heart, our lungs, our large intestine, our stomach, our spleen, our gallbladder, our liver, our bones, our tissue, our cellular memory. Let's go ahead and every breath we take, let's ask for emotional healing, mental healing, psychological healing, and let's ask that as these programs are identified and clear, let's ask that they be cleared forever and ever. Let's ask these programs to stop awakening, causing you all this pain, all this suffering, and all this guilt. Just know that that family member who left was very dear, very special. And let's give thanks for that opportunity that we had when we were together. We have to remember and reprogram all the good times and focus on that. So let's go ahead and, and take a breath from the bottom of the feet, the top of the head. Let's clear from the yang to the yin. I'm going to use my little dowsing tool, and I'm using it on this soul, but also for yours. I want you to keep breathing in, holding and releasing. I'm going to ask that everything we touch upon and more be identified, released, and cleared for your healing, your mother's healing, your father's healing, any brothers and sisters, any children. We really want everyone to get this divine healing effect. Let's ask that anything hidden, buried, and covered up be brought to the surface. And let's just ask if your soul is open for healing. We have a few that are not, so let's breathe in until I understand that everyone watching this video is open to healing, trusting they deserve to be healed. Clearing all self-punishment and self-destructive thoughts, feelings, and emotions that keep us trapped, unhappy, and out of the flow. Good. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of circular motion on the abdominal area. 
And I'm going to ask that all these trapped emotions that come from the lungs and the heart be brought to the surface, released and cleared. Please take a breath. Each and every one of us have a different experience, but until my stomach feels better, we're just going to breathe in, release and let go. Let's, when we breathe in, let's breathe in forgiving energy. Exhale loving energy. And let's forgive ourselves for being so sad, so hurt, and also so stuck that we almost punish ourselves and we don't allow ourselves to love life, to live life to the fullest, to appreciate life. Because there's a, a little part of us that feels guilty that they don't get to do the same. Those are really self-punishing thoughts and feelings and emotions. I'm going to give you permission now to release them. Thank you. So this loss that we feel is so deeply rooted, almost in the heart chakra and the lung chakra, and then again in this abdominal area. This is abdominal area is where we process our foods, but we also process our emotions. And sometimes when they get stuck, maybe we get painful abdominal issues, maybe we get um, acid reflux, maybe we get a lot of cramping, maybe we get a lot of gas. But let's give permission to our intestinal area to let go of some of these emotions that we just kept swallowing down, pressing down, because that's all we knew how to do. Let's go ahead and clear and forgive ourselves, forgive our family members, our friends. Let's forgive them now because we couldn't process, but we don't want to hold this all on. Sometimes in other lifetimes, we may have decided to leave this earth plane through being at creating suicide or maybe being murdered or losing our life in a car quickly. There's so many ways of crossing over and we've all done it in many lifetimes. So let's, let's send blessings and love to those who crossed over and just tell them we love them, we miss them, we value them, and we're grateful they were in our lives. So I'm just going to clear a little etherical cords here. And I'm going to ask that deeply rooted pain, wherever you feel it, if it's in the abdominal area, just let that etherical cord go because it doesn't help those that crossed over and it doesn't help us here on this earth plane to keep reliving these moments over and over. Let's, let's take a breath in of divine love, and divine forgiveness and understanding. Good. A lot of times I think what, what the biggest pain is, we can't communicate anymore. We can't call, we can't talk, we can't visit. I think that's probably one of the saddest things. I've lost two brothers, so I really know what this deep-rooted loss is. Let's take a breath in, and I want to tell your soul, no matter what your religious beliefs are, whatever your patterns, programs, prejudices are, your thought processes, you can connect with those who have crossed over. You can think good thoughts, and you can feel the smile within your body. You can feel the warmth. That's how you communicate once they've crossed over. Instead of putting all that energy on loss, loss and loss, let's take a breath in. Let's give our body permission to understand this energy medicine and then relieve. And keep breathing in and out till I get a clarity on what's going on. Let's clear all layers, levels, lifetimes, all 18 bodies, 90 minds, 1,780 levels. Let's clear our past lives, parallel universes, other dimensions. Let's ask these energies stop pulling from us. Let's ask we be on this earth plane, we be in our body, and we start living today forward with a lot of love, with a lot of compassion, and with a lot of kindness to your soul. I'm going to ask that any programs that Create self-punishment, self-destruction, be identified and cleared. Just keep breathing. I'll let you know when they're clear. I'm going to ask all that cellular memory, all, um, all beliefs, perceptions, and judgments, let's release them. Because we're here on this earth plane, they've already crossed over. They're already in a better place. 
And let's just send a lot of love and healing to them. And why don't you ask them to send a lot of love and healing to you here as well. But you have to take time to feel it. You have to take time to experience it. And it just simply takes you to lay down, breathe in and breathe out. Get your body in a comfortable place. Get your mind quiet. Get your ears open so you can hear the beautiful messages that come your way. So take another breath in, a lot of love and healing, and release with a lot of love, forgiveness, and healing. So let's clear any judgments we may have about those who may have hurt them. Maybe we have a judgment of ourselves. I should have done something. Why didn't I see the sign? No, you know what? We're not God. We can't fix what happened, but we can forgive ourselves. We can feel, forgive the person whose life is no longer here with us. If someone caused pain and sadness to their soul, let's also take a breath in and forgive them. Sometimes people say, I can't forgive, and I understand that I was angry for over 10 years. So if, if your body and soul can forgive on a daily basis, let's do that. And then I'm going to come down to this lower left quadrant, and I'm going to ask whatever stuck causing challenges or issues, take a breath. Let's release it. We don't want any of this, this negative energy, these negative feelings, these repetitive thoughts, these repetitive emotions to keep causing our physical body, our emotional body, and our spiritual body pain. So let's clear that and breathe it. I'll let you know when we've located this and released it. It's through your breath you create your own healing. Please be open to healing, be receptive to healing, and ask for healing. Very good. You know, a lot of times when you think of someone you loved and they crossed over, maybe the pain they experienced, maybe the fear, let's go ahead and clear all those thoughts you have, that, that vivid imagination that moment in time when they took their last breath. And I want you to know there's always an angel of the light that's there with them. It may not help you, but we've got to get past this sadness and this grief. Really, on a heart level, give yourself permission to forgive that you weren't there, that you didn't stop it, that you couldn't prevent it. Good. Keep breathing in and out. When you feel those emotions of being choked up, sometimes it comes more when we're in a lower vibration. Maybe we're having moments of depression. Maybe it's around holidays. Maybe it's around birthdays. Regardless, it is a true, true, true experience. So with your hands in your belly button, sometimes what I do is put my hands on my heart. Sometimes I put them on my heart and lungs. Sometimes I put it over my heart and lung, and then I hold on to my umbilical area, and I breathe in and I breathe out until that emotional experience or that trigger releases. We're going to set our intention that as you do this through your breath, the more authentic you are on a heart level and your mind, the way you feel, the way you think, that as you breathe in, you hold and let go, you're asking that your guides, your angels, help you release these emotions, these feelings and thoughts that keep, keep you unhappy, keep you stuck, keep you frozen in time. Because if we really look at the big picture, that's not what anyone who's crossed over would want to happen to someone they love, someone they care about. So just keep breathing in and giving yourself permission to heal through all the layers, all the levels, all the lifetimes. And I want to thank your soul family for coming into this lifetime and blessing you with a lot of love, a lot of joy, a lot of kindness. And I'm going to ask that those special memories come to the surface so you can have a light heart, a happy heart, a smiling heart. Very good. Keep breathing. A lot of times when we lose someone special, we have to suffer silently, but let's not suffer silently anymore. Sometimes um, when we lose someone special, our mothers, our fathers, maybe other soul family members, family members, maybe 
good friends, close friends can't talk about it. Maybe, maybe it's just too close to the heart and they don't know what to say. They don't know what to do to help you. But you know what? You have this above you. You have all these angels, these guides, these ascended masters. You can ask them for anything. Most of all, let's ask right now that when, when you call upon them, they're there for you. As you breathe in, you hold and you exhale, that they're going to be there. What you're doing is setting your intention that when I take this time and I breathe in and you know I have this pain, this tightness, this struggle, I'm going to give you permission as I exhale to help me let it go. If you do this, when things happen in life, your challenges or issues, you're going to find months down the road that you have really released a lot of things. You have the capability of healing yourself. Give yourself permission to be open to healing. As we're going, I'm going to clear again and under this uh, left diaphragm. Let's keep clearing anything in the left in the diaphragm that got stuck, trapped. Things we're holding on to, things we're aware of, things we're unaware of. Let's clear all these moments in time of loss. So sometimes when we have a loss, and let's say we lose a job, we lose an animal, we lose another friend, all this stuff comes back like a big wave. This is a beautiful time to acknowledge you're overwhelmed. You take that breath in, you exhale. Maybe anxiety sets in, you take that breath in, you hold, and you release. I'm going to ask that all these emotions that keep you bound and trapped up be cleared from first incarnation to infinity and clear them from alpha to omega and give permission to yourself to heal, to let go, and to find your new norm. Through your breath, you're going to relax, you're going to heal, and you're going to move forward. And through this breath, as you breathe in, healing, you exhale, struggles, you breathe in, inner healing, you exhale, challenges. And then I'm going to ask one more thing. Some of us don't realize this, but sometimes our body attracts a lot of trauma, a lot of drama, a lot of sadness, and a lot of grief. And I'm going to ask your soul to stop these patterns, these programs, and belief systems and give you an opportunity to be on this earth plane, happy, healthy, filled with life, filled with love, filled with compassion, and filled with generosity. Take a breath of love and kindness and exhale all that pain. Take another breath in of a lot of love, tranquility, and let out a lot of transformation. Please keep working through these emotions. You can watch this video as often as you like. 